So in this video, we're going to talk about nouns. So nouns are basically person, place, or thing. I can say Pittsburgh, that's a noun. I can say pencil, that's a noun. Nouns can be concrete, like a computer. Nouns can be abstract, like the term enlightenment or revolution. Someone's name, Shana, is a noun. So again, nouns are going to be person, places, or things. Now, in Hebrew, as in many other languages, every single noun is assigned a grammatical gender. So, for example, in Spanish, we might say el camino, the path, the road, and la cuchara, the spoon. One is masculine, one is feminine. So, again, in Hebrew, every single noun is going to have some kind of grammatical gender assignment to it, and there is no neutral. So, some of the words are pretty easy to, to, to figure out. So, for example, boy is masculine, girl is feminine. But there are so many other nouns where gender assignment is pretty iffy. So let me give you an example of how this might work. If I say to you, mountain, depending on where you live, what movies you've seen, where you've traveled, you'll get some kind of image in your head of mountain. It might be the Rocky Mountains, perhaps Mount Everest, or even Mount Sinai. And as you're imagining whatever comes into your mind, it's probably unlikely that you are thinking about gender. Mountains. So the question is, when I tell you that the noun in Hebrew, the word for mountain is har, and that that noun is assigned a masculine gender, does that mean that the folks who developed Hebrew uh, and, and the other Semitic languages assign some kind of masculinity to a mountain or not? And if so, then how did it become masculine? And these kinds of ideas become even more complicated when we look at some of ancient Israel's neighbors. So, for example, in Akkadian, the language of Mesopotamia, Israel's neighbors, the word that they use for mountain is shadu. But shadu doesn't just mean mountains. It also means breasts. So there you have an example of mountain associated with some aspect of normative femininity. We could really get into something if I were to mention to you that, uh, that shadaim becomes the word in Hebrew for breasts and that one of the names for God in the Bible is El Shaddai. So, is El Shaddai some kind of a remnant of God of the mountain or fertility God? Anyway, I'll leave you with those thoughts. And for the time being, we're going to focus on learning what the forms look like, learning what the masculine looks like and the feminine nouns look like, both in the singular and in the plural.